to show that I can deliver to a deadline, so I had a look at the Sydney Morning Herald website headlines for today, and I've written this. I don't have editing skills, so no second chances. Jet skiers rescue capsized kids. Six children and three adults have been rescued from the ocean by passing jet ski riders off the state's central coast. One of the adults, a 48-year-old man, suffered breathing difficulties and had to be airlifted by rescue helicopter to Gosford Hospital. Doctors say he was suffering from the shock of having someone on a jet ski not acting like a total dickhead for once in their entitled, overprivileged, nouveau riche life. Professional shooters are critical of new laws in New South Wales that give amateur hunters the right to kill feral deer, which are definitely more of a danger to society than people with guns that don't know how to use them. In America, the White House website has received 260,000 signatures on a petition to have the West Baptist Church officially designated as a hate group. Asked to respond, church members called the reporter a faggot, screamed foul abuse about sluts who use contraception, and then vomited on themselves. In other Westboro Baptist Church news, hacktivists have released the personal details of church members, leaving the funeral picketing, gay bashing community open to hateful attacks. In other news, many suddenly believe in karma. Knitting circles are helping to break down barriers between Muslim and non Muslim women in an innovative cultural program in Brisbane. Women of all backgrounds are meeting to swap designs and share yarn over the needles. The Islamic members of the circle are adapting balaclava designs for winter burqas, while those brought up in secular liberal backgrounds are trying to figure out a fair aisle cable knit design for freedom. A teenage boy has been injured by a bullet he threw into a bonfire. Police say the 13-year-old boy was throwing bullets into his bonfire in the backyard of his home in Penrith when one of them exploded. An official per spokesperson of the hospital says the boy should be fine, though he will probably remain a gonad-driven idiot with no instinct for self-preservation until at least his late twenties. The recently released Hobbit movie has come under attack for being long, boring and inconsistent in tone. Peter Jackson could not be reached for comment because he was rolling in money and his ears were blocked by money and he couldn't reach his phone in his pocket because his pockets were full of money and franchising and success. George Lucas expressed support for the beleaguered director on his Twitter feed, saying, It's really hard when you make a classic to see your work clearly, mainly because your massive self-boner gets in the way of objectivity and the screen.